everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time visiting my channel my name is Paige Nevea and thank you so so much for tuning in I hope you guys have been doing well during this quarantine looks like it's supposed to be ending soon so time for some exciting fun creative makeup look today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look obviously <laughs> um I would go ahead and call this a pink cloud makeup look and it is inspired by my best friend and new upcoming Detroit artist Liv Heavenly check out her songs she has a few songs out now and a few songs coming out um, throughout the year and one of her songs her first single actually was love struck and there is a makeup challenge kind of based on that. It's based on her song cover, which is like, it had a pink cloud background. So it's a pink cloud makeup tutorial. This look might be good just to do, you know, for fun or for a festival or for some fun Instagram pictures or for the love struck challenge, if you want to get in on that. It took me, this look took me like an, like an hour and a half. <laughs> I won't lie, it did take a little bit of time, but maybe that's because I was struggling. But this was definitely fun to do if you enjoy doing fun, creative looks. It's very girly, it's feminine, it's flirty. A ton of fun filming this and doing this. And you guys, this look is free to interpretation. I didn't really base this off of a specific, you know, map or rule book of where everything needs to go. I kind of just guessed. So if there's anything about this look that you guys don't like, if you'd rather do, you know, a pink matte eye instead of like a cloud on your eye or, you know, a couple less clouds, a couple more clouds, so add some sparkles, whatever you want to do. Thank you guys so much again for watching my second YouTube video. It's only number two, but there's more to come. And if you like this video and you want to know when more does come, how about you just go ahead and subscribe? So you can stay updated and tuned in on all the unnecessary stuff that I do. And make my day. You really would. <laughs> but yeah, we're cute and we're pink. Alright, let's get into this video. Tell me that I'm your dream girl, will you ain't dreaming? Your love's like a drug to me, you got me feeling. Don't be afraid. You can trust me, you are the reason That I'm love struck I'm gonna love you to the earth pop Tell me that I'm your dream Girl, will you ain't dreaming Your love's like a drug to me You got me feeling Don't be afraid You can trust me, you are the reason That I'm love struck I'm gonna love you to the earth pop Alright guys, so I'm going to start by prepping my face with my e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Primer and just rubbing that all in. And for the base of my face, I'm going to be using my Fenty Pro Filter Foundation in the color 420. But like I said in my last video, this foundation isn't really full coverage, so I'm going to be using my Morphe Matte Full Coverage Foundation in the color F470 to get any of those difficult spots. And then to highlight and conceal my face, I'm going to be using the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the color 370. And I'm just making sure to highlight above my lips, on the sides of my nose, and then above and underneath my eyebrows, as well as the center of my forehead, and then down the bridge of my nose. I personally like to take this concealer under my chin and on the parts of my cheeks that would fall underneath my contour. And now it's time to blend, and y'all already knew I was about to come in with this finger. So I'm going to be using my finger just to blend all my concealer and just really trying to press that product into the skin. And this is optional, but I personally like to keep a paper towel on hand if I do use my finger, just in case things get messy. And now I'm 
going to start baking my face with my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder Glow in the color Medium Deep. And I said this in my last video, but this is still my favorite baking powder for darker skin tones. It's just the exact perfect color that you need. But we're not really doing a natural look today. We're kind of being dramatic. So I'm going to be using my Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder in the color Banana to bring some more of that highlight back into my face. And I'm just going to be applying my Loose Setting Powder underneath my eyes and on the sides of my nose, as well as anywhere else that I applied a noticeable amount of concealer I'm just gonna want to maintain that highlight by going in with some loose setting powder over it if you also are wanting to bake your face but you don't want as much of a highlight as I usually do then you don't have to put as much product or you don't have to put it in all the spots that I'm putting it and you can only put it under your eyes or in your forehead now that I'm looking all baked like a cupcake, I'm just going to be using this round tipped fluffy brush to wipe all of that extra product and excess powder off of my face. And now I'm going to be going in with my Fenty Finishing Powder in the color Honey. And this is really just to add a little bit more warmth back into my face and just blend everything out a little bit. And to blend things out a bit further, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Pressed Powder in the color 355. And my camera shut off, so I got distracted and definitely should have kept blending more, but I blended at the end. But next, I'm going to be going in with my Bare Minerals Original Foundation in the color Deepest Deep, just to contour out my face. I like to specifically take my contour on the backs of my cheekbones, the sides of my jaw, underneath my chin, and the tops and sides of my forehead. And then I'm going to blend everything out with this fluffier brush and make everything look a little less harsh. And still using that Bare Minerals Original Foundation in the color Deepest Deep, I'm going to be contouring under my bottom lip and just underneath the tip of my nose. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the color Berry and just take that all along basically my whole face for this look, but along the sides of my cheekbones, in between my highlight and contour, over my nose, and on my forehead and chin. But we want to make sure that we put a little extra blush on today so we look nice and love struck. So we're going to put extra blush all over our face and especially our cheeks and across our nose. Now I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara just to prep my lashes for all the eye stuff we're about to do and so I can stop looking like Kermit the Frog. And just make sure you're getting those bottom lashes and this is optional but I like to take whatever leftover mascara I have and just make sure I darken my eyebrows. Now I'm going to highlight my nose with my Fenty Kilowatt Highlighter in the color Moscow Mule just on the tip of my nose and then down the bridge of my nose. I also like to use this color to highlight my cupid's bow and my brow bone. I'm also going to highlight my brow bone with my Kat Von D Metal Crush Extreme Highlighter in the color Gamma Ray. I'm going to use this color everywhere. I just put that Fenty color on just a little bit less. And then I'm also going to use this Gamma Ray as a highlighter for my cheekbones. And then blend everything out with a little blush. So I'm going to be highlighting the inner corners of my eyes with a white eyeshadow from the Slush Palette called Coconut Milk. But you can really just use any white eyeshadow. And now I'm going to be using the color Warm Brown from my BH Ultimate Neutrals Palette just as a transition color for my crease. And then I'm going to go back to my Slush Palette and use the color Pink Lemonade for honestly like most of my eye and most of this look. 
and I'm going to be taking a healthy amount of this pink lemonade and just blending that throughout my crease and right along the under part of my brow bone. I'm also going to be using this pink lemonade underneath my eye like on my bottom lashes and pretty much everywhere I can on my eye so that I look as pink as possible. I also did this in a couple different layers. I think this is like two or three layers of eyeshadow and then I also took the pink lemonade on my blush brush and use that across my face and I definitely tried to zoom in and out a little bit so you guys could see it up close and from a distance and at different angles and stuff and I'm really gonna pack this stuff in on my lower lash line and also a great and almost necessary rule of thumb is in between every single time you go back into your palette with your brush you need to tap off your brush or just you know pat it on something tap it on your finger tap it on the palette just to get rid of that excess powder or else a lot of this is going to be falling onto your face and you're already done makeup. Next, I'm going to be using the cotton candy color from my slush palette, and I'm just gonna be using this color on my lid to brighten things up. I would also say after these few steps, if you are not looking for the white cloud eyeshadow look, that this can pretty much be your final look and you can just use the cotton candy or some lighter pink as your main lid color. And I am mainly applying that cotton candy just on my main lid, but I'm also gonna take some of that product underneath my bottom lash line just to make my eye as pink as I possibly can. And once I'm done with my cotton candy, I'm going to go back in with my pink lemonade and just make sure that I'm maintaining some of that definition and depth by having my crease a little bit darker than my lid. And this was probably the easiest and most fun part of the look in my opinion. I just took this pink lemonade and I mean went crazy. We went in layers by layer by layer of just adding more pink lemonade to my face until I look like a whole piece of bubble gum and I just love it. And then once I have an offensive amount of pink on my face, I'm going to highlight my cheekbones with Kat Von D Metal Crush Highlighter in the color Gamma Ray. And then blending things out again with my pink lemonade. Next, I'm going to be mixing two more colors from the Slush Palette. Those two colors are going to be Cherry Limeade and Sour Cherry. Now these are just a little bit darker than the other colors I've been using, so just trying to get as much definition back into my eyes as possible. And now it's time for face paint. So I'm going to be using my Benici Face and Body Paint Kit, and I'm going to go in with first the color white. And I tried using the small brush first, but this wide brush works a lot better. And I'm just going to start off by making some little rounded lines and shapes that, I don't know, I hate to stereotype all clouds, but, you know, that like most clouds kind of look like. And then, I mean, once it kind of looks like a cloud, I like to fill it in and touch it up with some white eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to do the same thing on the opposite side of my face. I tried to do left side, right side, left side, right side to some extent just to keep some symmetry. I like to start with super full color and a lot of paints and pretty much 100% opacity kind of at the top and then blend it down as I go and kind of fade it out towards the bottom and then make it even more fady with my white eyeshadow. The white eyeshadow also helps to get in all of the little nooks and crannies and the fine lines that the paint maybe wasn't getting into because I didn't wet my brush before I did this, so definitely wet your brush, but it definitely helps you touch up any last minute imperfections. And I find it helps you blend out the whole bottom of the cloud if you do really want to get that fading, blending, disappearing at the bottom look. As you can see, I've added a few more clouds just randomly around my face, wherever I feel like maybe a cloud would naturally be in its natural habitat, but 
I mean, you guys can really put as many clouds wherever you want on your face. And just make sure you guys know the angles that you want your clouds to be. Um, if you want them to follow your cheekbones and kind of be angled up, or if you want them to be, you know, angled straight across the whole time. Size-wise, I personally prefer the bigger clouds towards the bottom of my cheeks and the smaller clouds towards the tops of my cheekbones. And now I'm just taking my pink lemonade color on my blush brush and just making these clouds look a little more pink, girly, and love struck. And just so the blush doesn't get rid of any of that highlight, we're just gonna go back over our nose with our Moscow Mule. And I also touched up my cheekbones with my Gamma Ray. And now it's time for that smaller brush that wasn't really working for the clouds, but would be perfect to put some tiny little detailed stars on our face. And I'm not basing this look off of the official map of the constellations in our actual sky. I'm just putting a bunch of random tiny dots on my face and you guys can do the same. But I don't know, I ended up putting about 30 to maybe 50 dots on my face of varying sizes and densities, which is fine because that's naturally how the stars would look in the nighttime sky. And if you wanna get really fancy with it, you can make these little star-like glimmers or I don't know sparkles whatever you want to call them I just kind of make little plus signs or you can go in and make a plus sign and then do little diagonals so it looks like a star or whatever you want to do I ended up putting about five little sparkles on my face but you can do however many you want again if you don't want the white eye you can stop here and just skip to the lips and lashes but if you do want the white eye i just kind of started by doing the same thing that i did on my face and drawing these little cloud like shapes on my lids And again, I should have wet my brush before I started doing this. So yeah, if you guys are trying this look, you should definitely wet your face paint before putting it on or else it'll get super cakey, especially if it's on a spot on your face that's gonna move a lot, like my eyelids. And then I'm just going to go in with this white eyeshadow from my BH Ultimate Neutrals palette and fill in any of the fine lines. And then if you feel like you wanna do a couple touch-ups with the stars or the eyeshadow or any last minute touch-ups with the paint, go ahead and do that. And this is another optional step, but I'm going to use my Moscow Mule Fenty Highlighter and just outline the cloud shapes that I just drew onto my lids just so that there's a little bit more sparkle, but you don't necessarily have to do that. It's just whatever your preference is. Now I'm going to move on to my lips and I'll be using my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the color Cold Brew that just came in from Amazon. And this is another optional step, but I just wanted to add some more pink into my lips. So I just tapped on a little bit of eyeshadow with this Sour Cherry from my Flush Palette. And then just some super easy, simple beauty supply lip gloss. So moving on to our final steps in the look, I'm going to be prepping my Kiss Mink Collection lashes with some black glue. And then while that's drying, I'm gonna try to blacken my lashes and get rid of any of that white eyeshadow on my lashes with my CoverGirl mascara. And then if I do have any gaps or cracks or spaces in that eyeshadow, just making sure I touch that up before I apply my lashes. Came in a little hot there, but nothing we can't touch up. And then after I pop both them boys on, I'm going to be finalizing my look with my Maybelline Hyper Easy Black Liquid Eyeliner. And this is just a secret between you and I. I really shouldn't even be saying this and I'm not technically recommending this, but I tend to just tug up on my face a little bit around my eye when I'm putting on my eyeliner, just so that my eyeliner is precise as possible and doesn't end up sagging along with the rest of my saggy face. 
and I think my camera cut out while I was filming me putting on my white eyeliner earlier but I did put on some white eyeliner on my lower lash line and now I'm just taking my black eyeliner underneath that. I'm going to draw my wings about a quarter inch past my eye and on my inner corners. And this is another optional step, but I'm going to take my Gamma Ray highlighter and just kind of outline the top of my black eyeliner. And then I'm just going to touch up my upper and lower lashes. I'm also going to be touching up my CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus Eyeliner in the color Whiteout and the inner corners of my eyes or anything that needs brightening. And I'm also going to touch up and brush up my eyebrows. And after a quick outfit change, I'm going to finalize this look with a pink heart-shaped rhinestone. And that's optional, and if you do do it, you can do however many you want. And then of course, douse myself in Fenty, Moscow Mule, and Ginger Binge all over my body so I sparkle like the 4th of July. Cute, and we're pink, and we're pink, and we're cute! Tell me that I'm your dream, girl, will you ain't dreaming? Your love's like a drug, tell me you got me feeling. Don't be afraid, you can trust me, you are the reason. That I'm love struck, I'm gonna love you to the earth pop. Tell me that. Alright, so this is the final look. Now, this is the first time I've done a makeup look that was like this colorful or that required face paint or a ton of creativity and it was really, really enjoyable. And I have known I've wanted to do this for a while. I've been wanting to use this slush palette for so long. Um, and I did get all my face paints in and all my little decorations and stuff. So I really want to do some more colorful, exciting looks. Send me some more looks you guys want to see. What else can I do? What do I got to do to impress you guys, okay? Come on. But this was definitely a pretty easy, simple look. But I would recommend, my one criticism of this look would be just to make sure that you wet your brush either while you're painting or before you start using this paint so that the paint goes on smoothly. I got this one off of Amazon and here is the box. It just is face and body paint kit with a little dog on the front called dry and difficult going on and it gets like really cakey on your eyes. I don't know if you guys can see in my eyeshadow, face paint eyeshadow, um, but I had to use a lot of like white eyeshadow to try and like blend, blend out this white paint and I was hoping it would go on kind of smoother than that so yeah but that would be my only that would be my only critique about this look it was actually pretty easy I think it's cute and fun um, you can switch up the colors you can do blue clouds green clouds yellow clouds I don't know whatever type of clouds you prefer Whatever your personal preference of clouds is, more power to you. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to find me. All my social media is all the same. It's Paige Nevea, spelled like this. That's Paige Nevea on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. So, if you want to add somebody or follow somebody or catch up with somebody or see what I do in my everyday life, then follow me or add me or DM me or whatever. Shout out again to Live Heavenly for the song. Check her out. Her song Love Struck is on all streaming platforms, so Apple Music, Spotify, and all that good stuff. Alright you guys, thanks for another fun video. Again, thank you to everyone for your support and your love and kindness. It's been fun, it's been great, but I think that's all I have for this video. So I'm just gonna say until next time, I hope you guys are staying safe and happy and healthy out there, and I hope to see you guys back here soon. Bye!
It's like 7 a.m. Up for no reason. Because of this. Because I've had two of these today. It's so ethereal and like a nighttime sky with the clouds and like the daytime sky too. Like all at the same time, stars and clouds coming together as one in my face. Deuces, bitches. No, not that one. That one's too aggressive. Is blowing a kiss like the cheesiest thing on the planet? What else? Ooh. 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 